Hey everyone, welcome to Wild Woodland Lavender Farm. My name is Carrie, and this is Brent. And today it's a very, very foggy day out, which is a typical day in our winter. And we have a fire going in our little fire pit out here. We're going to be trying our hand at using a Dutch oven in the fire to make something. I'm uh, gonna try making some biscuits. So uh, we just thought we'd bring you along and uh, show you how we do this. This is our first time doing it, so thought you might appreciate uh, seeing some newbies do this. <laughs> we have a whirlwind of ashes coming up from the smoke right now. That's kind of fun. <laughs> so I had nothing better to do on a Friday afternoon. You know, could have cleaned the house, could have done a whole bunch of other things. But getting a fire going is definitely something that I just love to do. And so here's our Dutch oven. It's not your standard kind of Dutch oven where it's got the flat lid and whatnot. It's a little bit of a nicer type of a thing with a nice little handle. About eight inches in size. So we're only going to be able to get about six biscuits in there. We're going to look to create some biscuits. There's her hand for... Ten inches. Maybe ten inches. Before we get to actually making the biscuits, I'm going to have some fun with the kids with these funky flames. <laughs> It's a Christmas gift that my folks gave me, and I didn't get a chance to use it last time we had a fire. It lasts for about 30 minutes, and we should have some colorful flames. It looks like she has brought some other items. Nope. Where's the salt? Did you empty the container? It? it looks like she has a question. Cream well, of tartar. Um, salt. Where's the container of salt? It's in the most obvious place it should be. It's in the living room, sitting on the end table. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's time to put in the funky flames and I've got the boys out here with me. I added a little extra wood onto it because, well, I just wanted to have more fire. And it's time to toss it on. So let's get right to that. Okay, so here we go. We've got a nice thing shooting out that way. Hopefully, maybe I should come around here. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to go around there and just shove it in this side. So here it goes, because you're supposed to just put the entire box in. Ah! Let's use a stick. Oh. So many openings. Rainbow fire, rainbow fire. Okay. No you put the box in, Mommy. Awesome. You can't feel your eyes. Keep it going. Yeah, it'll take a little while, probably starting here shortly. It's in there. It's burning, I'm sure. Oh, I see the box. Colorful fire. I've never seen colorful fire except for you. Rainbow fire. We've seen colorful fire before. Side on, back up. Ba Side on. Back up. Hey, pups, come on. You don't want to be in. Come on. It's so this is when I start to think it was a dud. <laughs> right in here and shoved it in with a stick. I can see it right there. Puggy love. You got puggy kiss. Puggy love. Puggy love. Puggy love. Puggy love. And they call it puggy love. Well, it's supposed to last a half an hour or so, the box said. So maybe it does take a while to get it started. I 
do I see the box. Me too. Oh, color. There's the oh. color. Take me, take me. Me too. Oh yeah. Right here? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, in there. Nice. Oh. Oh, oh nice yeah. Green. Nice green. Nice green. Oh. I think that's probably a lot of color. Well, let's zoom out a little bit, son. It's just green. Oh, that's really yeah, cool. Yeah, it's mostly green and orange. Well, it might change colors. Well, orange is the natural color of the yeah, fire. Oh, finally. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, is it just green? Oh, I don't see any. There's blue. There's blue. There. Yeah, blue. I only see green. Oh, there's blue. blue. Look at that. It's like a cyan. A light blue. Woo! I've never seen cool colors that has something that's burning hot. So rather than clean out the kitchen, we decided to go ahead and bring this stuff out here. <laughs> Make biscuits so outside. I'm going to have to contend with ashes while I cook here, but I brought out um, a little Tupperware uh, mat that I can use and work with that. And I have this up here to help keep some of the ashes away. So The ashes will just make it more authentic, baby. <laughs> right. So I'm using a recipe in... Look, Better look. Homes and Gardens cookbook and I used this once before and it's a really good recipe so we're just gonna stick with that it's what Biscuits color? Supreme so we're just gonna mix all that stuff together so first we need three cups of flour never seen now this is something I don't fire. want ash in <laughs> uh oh ashes And our faithful pug looking on. Yes. Wait, can you give me flame on that? All right. So how much flour was that again? That was three cups. Mm. And we need a tablespoon of baking powder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She brain, found the salt. My brain was cooking because of the heat from the fire. Your brain was cooking? Yeah. Well, we don't want that to happen too much. Uh, three quarter I'm teaspoon. It was, like, it, it was like my head was an oven. Your head was an oven? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Three quarter oh, teaspoon yeah. of cream of tartar. And I know you love my joke. How many teeth did you need to scrape to fill that tartar <laughs> jar? All right, so we'll mix that together. Right on, get off. Show them the doggy. Show them the doggy. Stay down. The doggy. The doggy. <laughs> hey, side on. You want to sniff the camera? <laughs> Alright, and then we have three quarter cups of butter, which 
We use margarine because we have people in our family. Me. Him, yes. <laughs> I thought you were pointing at the lens for me to look at. I'm like, I'm looking at it. <laughs> no, yes. pointing at myself. Yes. Brent is, uh, can't have dairy. So we cook with non-dairy much stuff as much as we can. So this is three quarters cup of butter. And this particular butter is 80% uh, vegetable oil. And I've cut it into small bits and that just helps it uh, mix into the dough, uh, the flour better. Oh, what are you doing now? I'm mixing the butter into the flour. That looks like fun. <laughs> and you want it to break up those chunks and become a nice crumbly mixture. And you want the butter or margarine to stay as cold as possible because that's what helps it become nice and flaky when it's baking. See, I'm almost getting a little jealous because when we go camping or whatever else and all breakfast foods and the like, I'm the one who's the cook. He doesn't let me cook over the fire or the camp stove. It's not that I don't let you. Because it's just you want to. Because I just really want to. <laughs> it's a man's world, That's isn't how it? it is. That's how yeah. it is. So he doesn't know about these fancy tools that I have for doing stuff with. <laughs> All right, the final ingredient is milk. And I'm using almond milk since, again, we're not doing the dairy products for Brent. And plus, we just don't use cow's milk anyway. We use soy milk and almond milk. So one cup of that. And then I'm going to use a Christmas present that I got, a wonderful handmade spoon. And it kind of looks like a peacock feather. Isn't it beautiful? That looks nice. And there's the, again, the pug between the chair there. He's begging, begging for something. He doesn't even know what he's begging for. Except attention. You just want to work that flour into the dough. You don't want to overwork it. You want that butter to remain nice and unmelted <laughs> as much as possible. Be side on. Oh, now you're doing it by hand. Yep. I think I need a little more flour. Flour. I think I need a little more liquid here. That's got to be cold, babe. That's not too bad. Because it's only about 33 degrees out here. The butter was frozen when we first started. Yep. I would say the air is kind of dry today, but it is foggy out. So I don't think it's too dry, but the biscuits are just needing a little bit more moisture. So what tells you it needs more moisture? Well, it's not sticking together well. Okay. It's very crummy, and even though I've been working it, it's just not picking up this extra flour, right. and it's not a nice... I mean, biscuit dough isn't really smooth to begin with, but this is not how you want it to be. You want it to be a little sticky. This is, little, this is just too dry. But I don't want to add too much at a time, because then it might become more sticky than it needs to be. Because then you do something like what I do, <laughs> and you keep going back and forth. Yes. Adding liquid, adding flour, adding liquid. All right, this is better. All right, so now I'm going to get some flour on my surface. I see a few things of water appearing over there. So it might be the... That looks 
suppose it might be. Yeah, this dough is kind of stiff because it's so cold. <laughs> We've got lots of butter chunks in there yet too. Oh, I think that'll make it taste real good. <laughs> anyway, we want to press the dough out until it's how thick? About a half inch or so. Yeah, I was thinking three quarters of an inch. Let's see. Well, since we have a smaller oven, three yeah. quarters of an inch probably makes sense. Three quarters of an inch, yep. So, I don't know, that looks about right to me. Now, I don't have a biscuit cutter, I just use a cup. And this is a slightly smaller one that I would use, but since our pan is not very big, we can use uh, smaller ones and maybe fit more in at a time. And you like to start at the edge, it looks like. I like to start at the edge. Unlike some of those YouTube videos you see where they start in the middle. It's irritating to me. It's not a good use of your space. <laughs> Just saying, that's a pet peeve of mine. <laughs> Stop burping. <laughs> okay, I'm done cutting out the biscuits. I got just about 12. It's 11 and then a little itty bitty one. That I've been nibbling on. I thought that looked smaller, you little booger. <laughs> uh, so I don't think we'll be able to fit all of them in here. So whatever we don't get into here, I'll just take inside and bake in there. So let's just go ahead and... Normally you might uh, put them a little bit apart, further apart than what I'm doing. But they can always bake up. That's my philosophy. And look, I bet this one will fit in there. <laughs> All right, it's about exactly what I thought would happen. Yay. Get about six in there. We can probably fit one more. This little there you go. crescent moon, not crescent moon, but Perfect. waxing gibbous, waning gibbous, gibbous, gibbous. Just depends on which way it's waning. All right, so those are ready to go. Once the fire is ready, we're going to get that ready next. All right, so the fire is ready. The logs that are planned to go on top are ready. Let's see if this is gonna work. These are gonna be the ones that go on top. Whoops, one of the ones. Boy, I might only be able to fit one in there. Uh-huh. I think one will be enough. in the eyes gets you <laughs> all right it's gonna say it's not level hun I know that's the problem <laughs> but then I realized you had stopped because you had smoke in the face smoke. <laughs> I forgot to mention I oiled the bottom a little bit before I put the biscuits in. Yes, we did. All right, so the hope and the plan is that this is gonna lift it up high enough off those coals so it doesn't give too much heat down below. And then we'll have an opportunity to put some heat on top. We're gonna be rotating it about every five minutes so that it can get even heat. And then we'll probably check it about every 10 minutes just because we've never done this before. And one of the other fellows that I watched, he said, you know, every time you lift that lid, you add five minutes to your cook time. And I'm going to be okay with that. <laughs> it's not supper time yet anyway, right? It's not supper time anyway. 
and I think I'll start with it at 90 degrees to the to the block just so it's kind of easy to keep track of keep track of and now let's see if these things will go on and provide a little bit of heat hopefully a lot of bit of heat and I think these probably needed more time yeah I think you should use the other coals I think I'm just gonna have to use regular old coals oh here's a good one yep. this is a beautiful one yep that's more like it oh that is gonna be yep, good, that's good. Now these biscuits are supposed to bake at 450 degrees anyway, so a nice hot coal covering is going to be good. That's probably enough. Unless you want to take that one log off. I might, but I think... I don't think that log is going to do any good, personally. Alright. I don't see For any... For now, I'll take it off because... I don't see... Any coals, glo glo embers glowing. I'll get them glowing that's, better. That's too much. There is there is a point where it's too much, honey. Like Jeremy Clarkin says, more power. <laughs> <laughs> more fire. <laughs> Gotta do it with the British accent, Dad. I don't have the British accent. That's sorry to disappoint my son. Power. So I'm going to try and get these <laughs> ready to be on top. Okay. How about the smoke? So it is 3.38. I probably started that three minutes ago. So we'll go in the neighborhood of two to three minutes from now. We're going to rotate it about 90 degrees. <laughs> Side on. Get off the table. Get off. What are you doing? Get. 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 Ah, that's a good boy. You stay down from the table, stay mister. Stay down. And then after another five minutes after that, we'll go ahead and lift the lid and we'll just see how we're going because I'm just so curious how this is going <laughs> to happen. But as we, as we can see, even with this, the heat still hasn't gotten rid of the moisture that's on this thing. So the on the block so you know as far as the heat rising and all that stuff it's just beginning all right it's time for me to rotate it and so i'm just going to use the hook here and see what i can do to not pull it off the edge well done about like so i need to go another three and a half degrees to make it right there it is <laughs> and now the challenge will be to effectively also rotate the lid or at least rotate the coals that are on top. What I may also do, since these are wood and not charcoal briquettes, uh -huh. I might just swap them out. Oh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> too much smoke. This one's still going pretty good. You mean you're not going to go all Jeremy Clarkson on the smoke? No. Hmm. have limits. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna use a shovel. <laughs> it's quite a bit on this side. We are at about 15 minutes cook time, so I have cleared off the coals from the top. Did a rotation one last time, well, th for the third time. And I've cleared off the coals, so now it's time to go ahead and pop the lid and just kind of see what we got. I just can't, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice and raised. Very looking good. Still not good. done cooking, but yeah, looking good. The wife has something to say. My biscuits got done first. <laughs> Well, that's all right, because these biscuits 
That just looks awesome. Okay, check out the, the flakiness of them. Check that out. Looks yeah. yummy. You gonna sweep off the board. Well the only brush I have is plastic oh. bristles. Well, we need to do something. I didn't do anything last time. But there's a lot more ashes this time. It's all gonna fall in on the biscuits. Can we can we blow it off? Does that work? Ah! Ooh, watch out dog. There we go. Is it this side over here. I don't have the big breath that you do. <laughs> Oh, that's burned. That's burned. Definitely got hot on top. Move it to the, well, I guess that works. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take the biscuits out and let them cool off a little bit before we give them a try. Ooh, they come out without sticking. That's good. Just yeah, the bottoms them. aren't too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. Just uh, have a little bit of charcoal and, you know, charcoal's not a bad thing for you. I'll still eat these. They're nice. Kids might not want them, but I'll definitely still eat these. So, I just need to know either not as many coals on top or less time or both. I'm going to go for not as many coals on top because I just don't want these to not be cooked all the way through. That's for sure. Yeah. And but the dog is going to get his nose oh, burned. Oh, 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 get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. You don't got much of a nose to begin with, dog. <laughs> Try the center one, see how flaky it is. How Go done for it, it is in the center. Go for it. Now side on, stay away. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Mmm. Looks good. That looks very yummy. Now indeed. Let me You want to taste it? Let me have a taste. Okay. Very good. Definitely, it's burnt. But the inside, mm, mm, mm. I would say it's a little moist. I could, it's nice and flaky, but it could use some more time baking, I think. Say again? Am I talking with my mouth full? Um, it was on me. It's a little moist. Yeah. So I would say it needs to cook a little bit longer. So a little bit less heat and a little longer would be good. But it's nice and flaky otherwise. It's a good recipe too. And like I said in the beginning, this is all about just kind of, this is the first time we've done it. So we can look at all sorts of different references and whatnot, but until you do something yourself, <laughs> you just really don't know what is required and, and how it's going to work for you and your understanding of the project. This is definitely something where at the end there, I put too many coals on it. I've got some pictures where I just loaded it up <laughs> and it was literally burning on top too. And I just put too many coals on it. So definitely next time I won't go anywhere near as ambitiously uh, overboard with those coals. Yeah, sometimes book learning will only take you so far. You gotta get in there and dig in and actually work on something and get experience doing it to fully learn about it. Here. What do you think? Is that a success, Pops? Huh? So thanks for joining us here at Wild Woodland Lavender Farm. It was a lot of fun trying uh, this experiment, trying something new. And you never know when this is going to come in handy, when we're out camping or just when we aren't able to use a stove for cooking like if the power goes out. So good skill to learn. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. Bye.